to the cloud. All righty, everybody. Hello, and welcome to the October general body meeting for the Buckeye Gaming Collective. Um, as a reminder, I am not paying attention to chat um, during any of this. So that is the way that it is going to be. Um, also, that's mildly upsetting that it doesn't show the people. Um, at some point today, for those of you in the uh, room right now, for, at some point today, both Dana, our Director of Competitive Affairs, and Ben uh, are both going to be joining us on Zoom. Um, so their name will appear up here in the top corner because that's the best we've got right now. All right. So uh, you should know the drill at this point. Attendance is going to come at the end after we get through this presentation. Um, so hopefully we'll get through it pretty quick. I know it is a super late night tonight. I apologize for that. Um, next month, we are going to be back in the other room, 31, at 7.30. And of course, that reminder will come multiple times over again. Hey, by the way, did anyone in eboard ping Ohio State again that we're starting this thing? Cool. Thank you, Caleb. Um, to start off, uh, some of you all might have heard that we are partnering with Twitch Student. And to explain a little bit more on that, I'd like to have Will come on up uh, to talk about this. All right, cool. What's up? Will here slash Ohio Luigi's Mansion currently in Discord. Um, basically, all this entails is Twitch student is doing a program where they're collecting student IDs um, from college students across the country. So all you have to do is scan that barcode or see it in the ping, I believe, for the general body meeting from earlier. Uh, fill it out. It's really easy and quick. It's just basically name, email, and your Twitch ID. Uh, it's totally optional if you want to do it or not, but the more we collect, the more basically goodies they give us to give out. Uh, and you're going to see this probably at more events as well, because the more events we do, the more stuff they give out. Um, and if you fill it out, you're going to be entered basically into a raffle for the stuff that we get. So as of it stands now, that basically just entails like some hats, it's some t-shirt, t-shirts and some cups. I think some other stuff, maybe. Wow, me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dana. <laughs> yeah. He's good like that. Um, but besides that, do you want is he okay? Did no, he's fine. He's okay, okay, okay. Um yeah, he basically um, it's not good. you get a point to the wrong thing. Oh really? Yeah, just the wrong Oh, this one here? Yeah. That's interesting. Well, oh. that's the one that Will gave me, so I blame Will. Well you then you can't edit it on there either. I was just gonna get up, get, just get off that screen. Really? Because I don't think the one is that for the one on the uh, other thing the one too. That you gave me a notion. See, okay. Actually, that's probably. Use the one on Discord. It's in the Discord server. Just use the one in Discord. That's funny. Yeah. Preferably don't edit that. But if you do, we'll know. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, cool. Reason. That's basically all there is to that. Um, the more we collect, like we get like hoodies, cool stuff like that. So that is stupid. That is interesting. This, so yeah, that's basically it. Besides, besides that hiccup, just use the link in Discord for sure. Can this go anywhere else? How about now? It, we're not screen sharing anymore. Sweet, dude. Love that for us. Uh... Okay, now, now there's no giant bar on the left side of that on Zoom, so that's cool. Um, okay, so don't use the one here and don't use the one at the end of this presentation, um, which is kind of unfortunate because that is where our, um, now where did that thing go? What in the world? All right, whatever. Um, the one at the end of the presentation also has, here it is, okay. Why is this just here, weirdly? Okay, that's nice. Um, all right, so um, now to talk a little bit more about team updates, uh, Dana, who is joining us over Zoom, uh, go ahead and take it away. Yes, hello everybody. Chatting from the front desk of OSU Esports, so say hi to Christine. But as for teams, I hope you guys can hear me. I don't know if my microphone is showing up at all. Um, yeah. Our Overwatch team, as Kenneth said, is kicking butt this year. 
currently six and one in the NACE, which is formerly CSL. So all the collegiate teams and they are in the varsity slash star league. So hopefully after tonight's match against uh, U of I, we get that number up to seven and one. As for Rocket League, OSU Beans was sadly eliminated just outside of top eight for CCA, num CCA open number one. But as for CSGO, uh, we currently are three and four in our NACE Star League and three and oh in the last three matches. So hopefully we can continue that streak on this weekend. As for CSGO, we also have a game coming up against Old Dominion on Thursday. Should be streamed and casted by yours truly and BGC. So hopefully you guys will tune into that and we can root on the team as they go for their fourth in a row. They also have a ton of other matches, so lots of props out to them. Give their support and shout out to Jeremy for getting them involved in all these things. As for Valorant, the Scarlet team is currently three and two in the big time conference, which is um, the showcase for all the um, Big Ten schools. Hopefully uh, this, their next match goes well against Nebraska. And I don't know if they'll be um, broadcasting that sadly. So I think we'll have to chat with that. They are? Yes. Cool. That's happening right after Buckeye Val. So after you're done playing your Buc Buckeye Val matches, tune into the Twist stream and watch our Valorant team hopefully win against Nebraska. Well, he said, as for Hearthstone, their Scarlet team is currently 3-1 in their season right now. Along with the gray and white teams, they're also competing in the same brackets, just not doing quite as well. So hopefully we'll see a turnaround in the coming matches. As for League of Legends, our premier team is currently, or went 5-2 and two in the fall warmup. And are currently five and one in NEC Star League. As for other games, I know our Super Smash community is doing very well. Over the last few weeks, they topped at least over eighth place. I know that one of our players, I believe his name is Pig, uh, got first in the virtual day of play. So congratulations to Smash Team. And over the course of the rest of the week, I know they'll be competing and. Uh, smash lined over at GA. So again, give all your commendations uh, to the Smash team and best of luck to them in the ongoing games. Other than that, I, I believe that. that's, <laughs> yeah, other than that, I believe that's everything. Uh, other than Apex team, which is me and my crew, uh, we placed 13th in uh, a recent open qualifier and top 10 moved on. So sadly, we fell out of that. On Thursday, we have a um, another circuit going on. One of our players should be streaming that. So lots of games happening on Thursday. Lots of games all over the place this week. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to tweet out a bunch of stuff about where those are coming uh, this week. Um, as mentioned, you know, there's the Overwatch squad, uh, the Premier squad that's playing right now. Um, so hopefully, if we have more time at the end of this, we'll just put it on for a little while while people filter out. Um, yeah. That is happening at twitch.tv slash NAC esports. Um, just and one, in case any of you. One last there, thing go for, for it. teams. Um, if you're interested in Call of Duty slash Call of Duty Vanguard, I know it's coming out this year. The COD team is recruiting. So I will, I will be making a post about that later tonight. If you're interested in uh, trying out for the Call of Duty team, they are probably top 10 in the nation. So give them a shot. All right, cool. Thank you, Dana. Uh, that's a lot of information, but basically there's a lot of stuff going on uh, with our competitive teams. Once again, sorry, Smash Brothers uh, and Apex, I don't think got me updates. So, oh well. Um, all right, I forget what's next, so I'm just going to click it and move on. Voting members. Caleb's going to talk about this one this week. Yes, they gave me the most exciting slide. So voting members, actually, I'm assuming all of you probably already know about it. As we talked about at the last two general body meetings, we'll talk about it at the next two general body meetings. So essentially, you being here is already taking a step to becoming a voting member. You have to attend at least half the general body meetings for the year. So a total of one whole semester of general body meetings between the two semesters. Um, you have to be an active part of the club. 
be involved in some way, just be overall active. And the fundraising event, um, we don't have anything planned for this fall right now, but if we do have something planned in the spring, you'll have to be a part of that, but we'll see how that goes. Um, being a voting member is very important for us. We're all taking a big step being in this gaming organization at this university. So do your part, be a voting member and vote. Thank you, Taylor. Um, just want to draw to your attention, folks, we are now three general body meetings into the semester, which means there are four more remaining. That means that there are three next semester. So you cannot attend all of the general body meetings. Now, I don't know why I'm telling you all this because this is kind of irrelevant to you. But if you have friends, you cannot attend all three general body meetings next semester and still be eligible to vote. You have to be in attendance at at least one general body meeting this fall, in addition to the three in the spring, if you are currently sitting at zero, and that is not including tonight. And I know that sounds complicated, but I'm just drawing your attention uh, that at some point we're running out. But again, if you miss the general body meeting, the form, uh, the attendance form is normally open for about a week after the fact. So just fill that out, watch the recording, uh, and stay up to date about all of the stuff that we have going on here at BGC. All right, for upcoming events, I'm going to have Ben talk about this one. He gets two slides tonight because he got a lot of events to me, enough to fill up two slides. So Ben, go ahead and take it away. Hey. Um... So yeah, we have a lot of things going on in the next month or so. Um, sorry for my extended absence. I have been pretty sick the past month, um, but hopefully after I have a consultation with my doctor tomorrow, I should be getting back to doing some more stuff in person. So um, it will be nice to be seeing you guys again. So October 29th, we have our Halloween party. That's at Lincoln Esports Arena, 7 p.m. We're gonna be doing a costume contest. Um, we're going to be passing out candy. It's going to be a local multiplayer game night. So we're going to be playing um, Dead by Daylight, Crawl, um, Death Road to Canada, Towerfall, uh, all sort of that fun stuff. And um, I mean, maybe even Phasmophobia if some people have copies. Um, but yeah, looking to hopefully have a good time. Um, October 30th, we got a Smash Bros. tournament. Doors open 3.30. Tournament has, is held um, at 4.30. It's in, the, it's in the Great Hall meeting room in the Union. Um, if you guys want more information about rules or tournament admin, um, join the Smash Discord, which I think is available through the Smash chat. Um, it's usually $5 to enter, three of that being a venue fee and two of that being a setup fee. Setup fee is waived if you bring a monitor, a switch, um, and controllers. Um, prizing to at least the top three uh, players. Um, usually they last, the tournament lasts uh, around four hours, four or five hours, depending on how many people come in. Um, we do usually at least ultimate. If there's enough people, we'll also run melee, um, just depending on the day though. All right, so moving on to November 5th. Um, we're running a Valorant social game night. So this is going to be similar to our. Buckeye uh, social, because it's backed by popular demand. It seemed um, when I ran the poll that you guys were really interested in just having like social nights where you guys would just play together. So that's something that we're bringing back to you. So I probably will just publish forms, um, just giving me some rank information for seating for teams, just like a day before. Um, and then we'll just have. Um, Sign in forms at the event. You can play um, from your dorm, from your house, or in person with us at Lincoln. Doesn't matter as long as you uh, fill out the form. Um, we'll get back to you and hopefully have some good times. Um, World's Watch Party, 8 a.m. Um, Hitchcock 131. It's the big one that seats like 500 people, I think. So hopefully it'll be a good time. Uh, so <laughs> My roommate is playing League, expressing his spirit in the background. <laughs> um, hey, so by the way, uh, Worlds is normally one of the things that we have a lot of fun doing. Even if you're not a League of Legends fan, I would highly recommend that you show up. Guess who is here right now because he went to a few Worlds watch parties? Um, that's basically me. 
Um, so even if you don't play league, it's a lot of fun. We're going to be on like the big screen upstairs uh, in Hitchcock 131. Should be a lot of fun. We're not offering food, um, but we will have some League of Legends stuff to give away, uh, whatever Riot sends us, basically. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but hey, if you want to swing by Buckeye Donuts or something beforehand and walk on over to Hitchcock, uh, you should definitely do that. Um, all right, Ben, you can continue. Yeah, always a good time. Uh, November 7th, BGC Echo Land Final. I'm still working out the details, but show up. We want an audience. They want an audience. Should be a good time. Um, so looking to see you there. All right, so further into November, we got a League of Legends game night. Again, this follows the Buckeye Social format. Uh, just need you to register the day or the week before. Yeah, I'll probably actually open registration a uh, week before, just giving me your ranks um, information. And then just um, day of, sign in. Um, let me know that you're here so I can actually do you for matchmaking. Uh, again, probably run that for maybe two or three hours, depending on how many people we have. So should be a good time. Um, I should also mention... Um, that at some point we're also looking to potentially do a Rocket League night as well. Um, I haven't necessarily nailed down a date for that, but if I can get a commitment by someone to run it, then we likely will also do it sometime in November. All right, so immediately following that day, we have November 13th, Smash Brothers tournament. Um, this one starts a little bit later. Uh, doors open at five, tournament at six, Union Great Hall. Um, so as I say, this one's going to be starting just a little bit later, so just remember that, but same location. So come out, have a good time, win some money, um, play Smash Ultimate, and maybe Melee. Uh, and hey, then I'm going to interject again, because I forgot to make a slide for this. Um, so in the past, or I think this has happened in the past, since the last general body meeting, uh, for those of you that don't know, the Buckeye Gaming Collective was nominated as a finalist for Collegiate Esports Program of the Year at the Esports Awards, uh, which comes as a surprise to me, for sure. <laughs> um, but obviously, we are very lucky to be there. Um, it was not until literally while I was making this slide uh, that Ben discussed maybe doing a watch party in Discord for it. Uh, it should be a fun night overall uh, to just kind of sit there in Discord and watch the show. Um, a lot of folks uh, that are going to be there, a lot of names you've heard of, a lot of names from other games that you haven't heard of, I'm sure. Um, but we're there too. Um, so if you would like to, and you have not already, please vote. Uh, there is the voting link up there. Um, I'm not going to force you to vote. I'm also not going to force you to go spread this link to other people. But if you do wish to, feel free to do that. Um, and yeah, thank you for all the staff people that have put in the work to make this organization what it is today. Uh, it is certainly not a one person operation, um, but it is kind of weird to be here, uh, what, three or four years into our formation. Um, cause apparently a lot of people think we're doing pretty well. So that's that. Um, all right. Sorry. I had to go off on a sappy tangent there, Ben, you can continue. All right. I had one more thing about the November 13th date as well. Um, I had some people from the Fighting Games community here at OSU that approached me and they expressed their interest in seeing if there was any interest in um, starting up fighting game tournaments, which they would do in addition to the Smash Bros tournaments um, in the same venue, or at least that's the plan right now. Uh, so as of November 13th, if you show up, um, you might find a tech in station and um, a free tournament to participate in and just see it's open to anyone. Um, my understanding, um, just to see if you guys would be interested, if that's something we wanted to continue for the future, um, and then potentially open it up to pricing. I so, have an interjection for a moment. Andrew, what was that? I believe I talked to my think they're going to play this Saturday at the same time, not uh, in the 13th. So I think starting this week. Evidently, Andrew is saying that apparently this week they're going to start to bring Tekken for the okay. Smash Brothers bi-weekly. Right. News to me. So um, anyway, we'll keep you in the loop. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep you in the loop. So just be ready. If you play fighting games, 
show up to one of these. All right, so back to November 20th. Um, we don't have a time necessarily yet for when the eSports Awards are going to occur, but we plan on doing a um, watch party in the Discord server. So join us, see if anything comes of it. Um, it's really cool just to watch it, see all the people um, come out, you know, get their awards. Um, there's some really qualified individuals and programs on the roster. So it's really nice to see um, what's going on and who's getting awards for what they deserve, I guess, in this, uh, in this program. Um, November 21st, that's our Buckeye League's finals week. Um, yeah, this one's still a little bit far out, so not much information on it yet. But we'll be wrapping up um, our leagues at this point, um, getting in our final broadcasts. Um, it would be nice if we have some audience. Might be might be of interest to y'all. So hoping to be a good time. Um, and then November of we don't know. Uh, Kenneth, <laughs> you have any idea what this? Uh, what week we're going to be planning to do rivalry week this November? Um, yeah, so we don't really know for sure. We're in the process of scheduling this. Basically, I've got another slide about this, so we can kind of save it for a second. Um, but rivalry day will be coming up. We do an entire day of matches versus uh, that team up north. Give me your booze. Boo. What are you yaying for? That's our producer, by the way, that's yaying for the wrong team. Anyway, um, so we're in the process of solidifying a lot of what that's going to look like and what day precisely that'll be. That won't be anything in person for the general spectator folk. Um, you'll just be tuning in on our Twitch stream, but we'll be having matches going on all day. And so even if you don't enjoy the games that are there, it would be uh, nice to have you watch. Um, ben, do you want me to finish this out or do you want to? Because I can. Um, it's just a general body meeting. If you want to cover the general body meeting, I'm fine either way. I'll, I'll cover the general body meeting. Next one's November 29th. There it is at the end of the slide. You can read the slide. It's been up there for a while now. Um, so mark that one on your calendar. Again, if, if you know somebody, because I can't talk to you all because you are currently here, but if you know somebody that has yet to attend a general body meeting, uh, after this week, when they can no longer submit the attendance form, they will have to attend the November general body meeting and all three meetings in January, February, and March. Those will all be the same where we're going to do like the recording. We're going to keep it up, keep the attendance form up so that you all can pay attention to that. So that should all be good to go. Um, so just keep that in the back of your heads. Uh, we want to try to have as many people vote as possible. And on that note, if you, any of you are interested in running for e-board positions, please let me know. Uh, it would be kind of nice to have a head count of you all just to see where you're at right now. Um, nothing has to be committal. Like if you're like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this, let me know. Um, that's always just a good bit of information to know. Um, right. I am not going to be running for a position next year um, because hopefully I will be graduating in May. So um, please do keep us in the loop on that. Um, I do have an entire slide for Rivalry Weekend versus the University of Michigan. I also would like to interject just um, okay. one more thing in regards to positions. Um, I would like to say that I am also opening up interviews for community managers for the spring as well. So if you're interested in hosting a community for your game or just being involved with running events here on campus, um, reach out to me. Um, open interviews, as I say, I'll interview anyone. So just let me know if you're interested. Just DM me on Discord, minus uh, number 1748. Interviews sound very formal. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, they're only like, not yeah, I just ask you a few you. questions. It's, 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 okay. it's cool. Yeah, it's pretty chill. Um, all right. Yeah, really. Um, all right. So rivalry weekend versus the University of Michigan. As I said, it's going to be an all-day marathon of show matches. There will be at least seven, if not nine, games back to back to back to back, hopefully all in one day. So... It's a lot of content um, and it can be something that you put on in the background for the majority of the day. We don't know precisely what day it's gonna be. Hopefully it'll be before the big game, uh, after Thanksgiving. Um, so be on the lookout for that. 
If it is not, it will probably be the first weekend in December, um, but we'd like to do it around this time to get everyone amped up for that kind of feed off of the hype of the big football game. Um, so just be on the lookout. It's a fun broadcast. Uh, it's a fun one for us to do. It's a fun one for you all to be engaged with. So please do keep an eye out. Uh, that's the one we're highlighting this time around. Now is going to be the time where I cover this up. Because this, shit. I have to use the actual pen. Where is the actual pen? It won't show up on screen. Well, that's fantastic. All right. Don't hit the QR code for the Twitch student raffles. Um, yeah, don't do it. Um, but if any of you have questions at this time, I will happily field them. Um, if you are looking for the raffles, or we'll send it out in the email today, uh, or whenever Caleb gets around to sending out the email, um, in addition to um, whenever else, I think I can double click on these things, but you just can't, Nemo. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm switching things around. Uh, this one. And then where is the Zoom screen? Here it is. More, share screen, that one, share. All right, uh, there we are. So now you all can actually see the correct one and you're not going to be doing the, uh, you're not gonna be editing the Twitch form. Please fill that out. Uh, does anyone at this time have any questions? I will now pull up the chat on my laptop as well so that I can see that. Uh, any questions? Going once. Going once. Who is the best Halloween theme name? I have to pull up and look up. All right. So mine is Kabu, which is the one that I've used for a while, which is. Should have been on the channel as a poll. Uh, Dana's name is Shadow, which is always is Shadow. So it's fitting for especially this time of year. I have no idea who evil guy, guy manual, guy Manuel is. I have no idea who that is. Yeah, no, I know it's Ben, but I don't know like why. Daft Punk. My icon is Daft Punk. All right. Okay. I have the guy Manuel helmet. That that's that's my profile pic usually. So it's a purple stripe guy manual helmet for my profile pic for Halloween. That's why it's evil. As much of a stretch as Laffy Taffy. <laughs> Alex just said that's as much of a stretch as Laffy Taffy. Oh my God. Um, Will's is Ohio Luigi's Mansion, which I do like. That's a pretty good one. Uh, Caleb is creepy Kalakai, which you didn't try. You you don't have anything else. In fairness, you don't have anything else, but you're not getting number one here. Um, and Noah's is Tel Irihu, which is actually pretty good. I told Noah that it should be uh, Fortune Tel Irihu, um, but it didn't fit in Discord, so that's very sad. Um, I I like Will's. I th I think I like yours the best. And Will says Noah's his favorite. All right, how about this? Hang on, we're gonna do this on Zoom. Oh no. Why did it pull up at a different tab? Oh my God. Uh, best Halloween name. I'm gonna do this. No, but we'll, we'll do it by hands in the room. We'll do it by hands in the room. <laughs> Um, um, you can look happy if you want if you're not having Oh, come on. <laughs> That looks like I commanded you to stand up. Maybe you sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Is the poll actually happening right now? Launch. Yeah, Zoom polls are a thing. So you all can vote in Zoom. Uh, in the room, meanwhile, uh, we'll do it by hand. Should we do it anonymously or should we do it? Does it matter? Um, <laughs> everyone put your heads down. No, all right. K Boo. Hands up for K Boo. All right. My own brother, everybody. Uh, Tellery you. Tellery you. Tellery you. That's two. All right. Creepy Calakai. Zero in the room. Shadow. Nobody, nobody likes Dana's normal name. You can't vote rigged. Yeah. <laughs> uh, evil guy, Manuel. No, that one. All right, Nishant's giving you the W. And so everyone else is voting for Will of High Luigi's Mansion. There it is, or they're abstaining. That's a lot of votes for Will. All right, Will takes it. Apparently a lot of people, uh, the popular one in Zoom right now, uh, Will has four, I have three for some reason. So apparently you all are just like trying to uh, cater to me or something. Um, all right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to play Kahoot as promised. Um, there are a handful of uh, things here. Um, host. I have never done this before, so we're going to see how it goes. Player versus player. <laughs> Kahoot Battle Royale. There's no shot. Really? Um, I'm going to end the recording. Thank you all for listening on the recording. Uh, where do I end the recording again? Was it there? Stand for